Hi, beautiful. If there is one thing that I have grown to love, it is people doing wolf cuts. Oh God, they always are just so tough to watch, but at the same time, so damn entertaining. And I can't get enough of it. Let's see what happens when people do a wolf cut at home on their own hair. Up first, we have a video by The Fabulous Adventure. I have a feeling this video is going to be a fabulous adventure as well. You better live up to your name. So I'm gonna be cutting my hair. My hair just kind of like does this one thing. Like it's all pretty much the same length. Oh my God, wait a second. She just like moved away from the camera and I was like, Whoa, that is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hair. I'm excited. I hope she cuts off a lot of it. She needs like a look. The long hair down to your butt. I don't know. I am kind of a hater of the really, really, really long hair because it just makes me want to do a transformation. Like I want to get my hands on that hair and just do something crazy. I'm going to be attempting a wolf cut. I just want more layers. I want like more layers, more dimension, more depth. Oh my, I think that is the perfect idea for her. If she can execute this wolf cut well, it is going to be so fierce because she's right. Like she needs layers. She needs movement. She needs something more going on. I also would love to see her haircut to like here. Just give us the whole transformation. All the videos I watched said to go from your ears to the crown of your head, so... It's fine. Hold on, what? From the ears to your crown of your head? I don't feel like I've seen that before. I would prefer her to just pull everything up all at once and snip a Rooney. Otherwise, you're gonna get disconnection and it's gonna be all over the place. I'm just gonna like, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, okay, basically it looks no different. Now I feel <laughs> not good about finishing this haircut. Wait, what was that that she just did? I'm totally thrown off. What was the thing in the back and then the pull it forward and then she was snipping something? It sounded like she was using thinning shears, but I don't think she was. I don't really know what was just going on and now she's looking at something. Somebody fill me in. <laughs> Still can't tell the difference. <laughs> you know what? Sure, looks fine. No, do more, damn it. <sighs> That's so much hair though. Get over how long this hair is. It's blowing my mind. I hope she cuts so much off. It's gonna be so exciting and so much fun to see it fall to the floor. Look at all those dead ends too. Just here we go. <laughs> okay, I'll turn it back now. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my she definitely cut off like five inches, except with her hair length, it's gonna make zero difference. Zero. Like she needs to cut off this much to make any kind of layering visible in her hair. Now I'm like, I feel like it's not even that short. I could totally go shorter. I don't know how people do this by themselves. Okay. I don't get it. I don't get the thing. Oh no. She doesn't get it. And I know she doesn't get it because I can tell she doesn't get it. I feel like I could have done a better job. Just like, taking random pieces of my hair and like chopping them. First section, I cut kind of long. The second cut, the second section, I cut a little bit shorter. Now this is now the third section, which is a smaller piece. So this is going to be my top layers. I don't think so. Don't get cocky with it. We couldn't even do this one right. So I don't know about that. <laughs> we did it. It's too late to turn back. No big deal. Okay, she's cutting a lot off this time. Oh no, she's gonna get the most disconnected layers because she's only cutting the top part without the rest. It's gonna be like a shelf of short layers and then nothing connecting it. Moment of truth. Did I mess up my hair forever? I don't love it. Oh, this is going to be a process. Girl, you have layers to here and then the rest of your hair is here. No bueno. Pull it all up and cut it all the same length. Oh God, this is stressful. Instead of this just being like a chop, I need it to be like a flow, you know? Mm, don't know about it, don't know about it. Not feeling good. <laughs> Figured it out be back momentarily. I don't think anyone's ready, myself included. I zero out of 10 would never recommend doing that hack thing, especially if you have long hair, if you have short hair. I wouldn't exactly recommend it, but you can definitely do it correctly and you will get like a much better result. Are we ready for this? Are we ready for this? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, I didn't actually cut that much hair off, but I'm glad that I trusted my gut on that one. So yeah, I got some like, you know, floof 
Josh said that the top of my head didn't look as tired anymore. The shade. Ooh, I mean, he's, he's right. The top of your head does not look as tired anymore. You did something. Kept the length. It's a little bit thinner on the bottom, which is helpful because I usually wear my hair on the top of my head in a bun, but I'm digging this. It definitely looks better. Am I living? Not exactly. Also, I always say this. Nobody asked for my opinion, but I'm gonna give it anyways. I want you to bring it all the way up next time. Cut it all short. It will not look short when you let it down. You will have great layering, and then you can add the bang later. The technique you did, I don't know who the hell recommended that, but don't ever listen to them ever again, because they did you so wrong. I'm glad you ended up blending things in later on, but... <sighs> Eek. The styling definitely helped too. Also your ends, personally, I would love if you just trim them a little bit because they're looking a little thinner on the ends, you know? You got a decent look. And now you have something going on. Now you gotta color your hair. I think you just need highlights. Like nothing like too, too crazy. Something low maintenance would look amazing on you. Up next, we have a video by Christina Creatives. Today, I'm going to be doing the wolf shag, whatever that cut is. Okay, be careful with those scissors though. You were getting a little scissor happy there for a second. It was a little scary. So I love the length, but I've got nothing I can do with it. And I've tried volumizing mousses, teasing, the whole nine, and falls flat. So yeah, you definitely have that like just very silky hair that tends to collect oil very easily. It does, it falls flat. But at least you have very silky smooth hair naturally. Like people would die to have hair that is just like that when they wake up. Just smooth. So here's the interesting part. I'm gonna put it up in a quick little ponytail and we're gonna talk about the idea of where your directions are. If you're directing the hair like right on the front of your hairline, you are going to get the bangs. Well, depending where you cut the length. But if you pull it more towards up here, you're going to get your shortest layers kind of cascading around here. So it depends on what you're looking for. I prefer when people pull it right to the top of their head right here. I think it looks better. If you can, cut it up or hold it up up, grab the piece so that you can flip it over this way. Do not over over direct or this can be far shorter than you're expecting it to be. Okay, so she knows to not over direct the front, right? We gotta pull it upwards and then cut or put our head down and then cut. If we're over directing like this, you're gonna make those layers even shorter. So pull it up here before I jump to the screen and scream. Jump to the screen and scream. That's right, that was right. I should trust myself. <laughs> Ooh, we're going for it, baby. I'm going to point cut up to soften it up some more. Can the world get some thinning shears? It'd be a lot easier. The point cutting up with these crappy scissors, it's a lot to watch. It's hard to watch. It's good. <laughs> Start with a little, because you can always take more off, but you can't put it back. That looks better, softer. I'm going to finesse it once it's down. Finesse it, babe. They call me Finessia because I finesse shit. That'd be a good drag name for me. It's over directed. So that means these are gonna be your longest layers. These are your shortest. If you don't wanna take off a lot of length, pull a piece down here that's your longest length and hold it up to find out where you can cut above so that you don't lose your longest layer. Not gonna go too far because I don't wanna mess up and take too much. This technique, her layers are still gonna be connected a little bit, but there's still gonna be a little bit of disconnection because she has that gap between her layers back here. You know, she's directing all this directly forward and then this part she's directing up and then forward. In between right here, these layers that come down are gonna have like a shelf, like boom and boom. Y'all are making it too damn complicated for yourselves. It's all about the one cut wonder with the wolf cut. <laughs> At least people are going for it today. Like I need to see a lot of length drop to the floor. That is the most exciting part of all. This should have given me some layers. Now these layers at the top compared to the bottom. So I do have some layers in here. So I'm gonna leave it that way. There's something going on in there. I might frame it up some more around my face. We're gonna see what it looks like. I'm gonna just do it down the middle so we can take a look at it or close to the middle because my hair doesn't generally like to part down the middle too much. Having this straight of hair when doing a haircut, you have to be so skilled because you will see every single flaw, everything. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just dividing it pretty equally. I think they're pretty even, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Slay. I can do the crown bit again, but this time I'm not gonna go all the way to the ear. I just wanna touch the upper layers, right? So I'm gonna go around temple. We're still going. <laughs> We're not stopping there. Just point cutting to soften 
the edges here. Girl, God bless you. You were out there for the girls. You were like, let me give these girls some pointers. Let me help a sister out. And I appreciate that about you. You're giving us the full rundown. This video is 25 minutes long, by the way. It's a very condensed version of what she's explaining. She goes off. So I'm gonna use my front layers as kind of my guiding light here. Cause not all of this is the same, right? See how my fronts are already falling, but I'm gonna chop just a little bit more off this part. Cause I want a little bit more layers all around. Oh, we're doing some chops and a chop a rooney and a noonie noonie. We are still going, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm like, ah, why are we still cutting, dude? Just take one chop, not 10. One chop and then over direct, over direct, jump, boom, done. Let it down. Live your extra life. Go home. If you're already home, go to bed. If you're already in bed, go to sleep. People twist it. I'm trying to go out as straight as I can. As again, not to redirect it too much. Okay, now we're doing a twisty poo with a thing. This is gonna make sure her bangs are more like arched instead of straight. Again, couple inches, nothing crazy because we don't want to overdo our hair. Short layers, right where I wanted them. We just have to see if we need to take out weight in any areas. I can see where there's a disconnection. It doesn't have to be perfect. I will get back to you guys with it styled. I have put a curl in my hair. My hair does not hold curl well, but this is it, you guys. She gave me some more volume up here. I think it's not bad. I like it. And I wear my hair straight, so if I don't love it, then it's not as obvious when it's straight, but it does lighten the hair a lot, which even though it looks like it's thin, I have a lot of hair. Okay, when she added that wave, she put the look on. I'm so proud of you. It looks 10 times better than what you started with. Now your hair has some body in it, it has some movement, it has some volume, and that is exactly what we were looking for. The technique, definitely well thought out. Next time, I just want you to do it a lot more simplier. Simple or more simple. Stop making it so hard, you guys. This is supposed to be an easy cut, not 10 times harder than it needs to be. Up next, we have a video by Tina Ngo. So yesterday I found a video of Emily Frabler. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The tutorial looked simple enough and the end results were fabulous. It was nothing too complicated. I'm gonna be trying that out today. So what she did was to just flip all of her hair, brush it through. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, somebody's doing it right. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice stretch. And she did this on dry hair as well, so that's why I'm not wetting my hair or anything. Wet hair would be best. That's another thing. Why is nobody doing it on wet hair? Now, I know she didn't do this in the video, but uh, I think I'm gonna just take a little strand here, down like this because I don't want to take a lot of the length off. Great idea. Let's start at the chin, okay? I don't want to do anything too drastic. I would rather cut a little bit at a time. Yeah, you can start off long and go shorter, except it isn't really a pain in the ass to keep going shorter and shorter and shorter. Like uh, I've seen people do it. They take way too long. Again, I see this every single time I watch these videos. Y'all don't take enough off. If you only take off this much, you're not gonna get a wolf cut. If you take off this much, you're gonna get a wolf cut. So I put a hair tie here as well, just to hold the hair together. We don't want to overdrive forward, we want to go up. So let's cut it straight across. This is scary, but satisfying at the same time. It's so satisfying. And now I'm gonna separate the hair into three sections because I have pretty thick hair. Now I'm just gonna take one section at a time, spread it out, and fan it. Uh, these techniques just get more and more complex every time. Just when I think it's gonna be easy. No, wait to make it hard. Wait to section it into three sections instead of just cutting it all together. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. You see how blunt this is? And this is just a little bit more light at the end which is good, this is what we're looking for. All right, moment of truth, you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, honestly, I'm surprised at how much layering she got. How did that work? She like didn't cut anything off. Spooky, but I like it. Love it. It's just a little bit shorter. It's just a little bit fresher. Yeah, I think I want them a little bit shorter. Y'all can never stop. It's just like impossible to cut straight because my hair is so thick. Looks pretty straight to me. Repeating the same steps once again. So this is what it looks like and it is, yeah, right around my bottom lip. I 
love it. Yo, she's got some layers up in there. I hope she styles it. I want to see it like fully done. And now I want to add like this little diagonal here and like maybe cut my bangs a little bit shorter or make it a little bit more wispy. Yeah, she's cutting the angles too. She is killing it. I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to wet my bangs and cut it a little bit shorter. If I had $100 for every time she said I'm going to cut it just a little bit shorter, I would have a few hundred dollars. It is just a little bit tiny shorter in the front. So that kind of just goes down a little bit like that. Well, a good thing to do next time is to over drag the hair to the opposite side when you cut the fringe. That way you get more of like a... I love it. I love it. My hair feels fresher now. The layers are still there. It just looks like my old wolf cut, really. Girl, you did a thing. We are going to be doing a blowout. We're getting the styling moment that I wanted so bad. This is gorgeous. The layers are beautiful. It's still like a straight look, but it doesn't look boring. It's not like pin straight. My hair feels so fresh now, and I'm so happy that I didn't cut a lot of my bangs because I do want it to be like a long curtain bang. Gorgeous bang. I mean, she said it. It is gorgeous. She slayed. Damn, that looks so good. And the blowout at the end just pulled it all together and went whoosh. Great job. Wolf cuts, wolf cuts, wolf cuts. They're a good time, I will say. Make sure you guys check out my hair care and my hair color line. It is linked right down below for you. You can also go to xmonohair.com. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.